Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of LinMod Talk Tutorial. Today, we are going over the process of logging into the C1100 type drives using the RS45 isolated adapter. Shown here is the RS45 kit, and the part number for reference is 0150 3356. Observe the C1100 drive pictured and notice that we will not be using the X19 port as this is for use with standardized RS-232 connections. Instead, we will utilize the X7 and X8 ports. Referring to the literature, these ports can be identified as those capable of making the RS-485 handshake. For visual clarification, pictured here is the C1100 type drive depicting the X7 and X8 port locations highlighted for quick reference. Now direct your attention to the circled S4 section of this document. This is outlining the various switch functions that coincide with switch 4. Special consideration is to be taken towards dip switch 1 and dip switch 2. These positions are used explicitly for RS-485 configurations. DIP switch 2 controls RS-485 termination settings between separate interface functions, and DIP switch 1 chooses between the RS-485 and the RS-232 hookups. Therefore, DIP switch 1 must be in the on or true setting to implement RS-485. Next, if you don't already have it open, cue LinMod Talk. From the start screen, navigate to the File tab and select the Login slash Open Offline option. Once selected, a smaller window will appear. Observe that the Connections options do not have a selection for RS-485. Therefore, we will be connecting to the drives using the RS-232 radio button to accomplish our connection. Your port should already be configured by default, but if not, some troubleshooting would be required to enable this properly. Do not edit the username, password, or baud rate boxes further down, as these will stay as is. Then select OK. Now that you are logged into the drives, you can perform testing, edit the I.O. functions, program demos, and more. Okay, let's take a moment to talk about port settings. It may be the case where you need to view or assign ports. To do this, simply navigate to the computer's device manager and click on the port selection tab. From here, you will be able to assign, edit, and configure various port setups for your specific uses. Lastly, for driver software, Navigate to LinMot's e-catalog. From here, enter the RS-485 part number in the search bar and click the on-screen hyperlink that says Website. Clicking this link will direct you to another site, FTDI, which contains various driver packages. Scroll down towards the bottom of this page. You will notice different options for driver downloads. Carefully select the download package based upon your operating system and respective bits. If a standardized download package is not ideal, there are also options directly to the right under the comments section of this web page that will allow a script executable to be set up. You will find additional references for various release notes and the installation guide here as well. For further questions regarding navigation following the initial login, please refer to the Linmot USA Incorporated YouTube channel for a full selection of videos under the Linmot Talk Tutorials playlist. For further information regarding Linmot products, remember that the website's e-catalog contains cut sheets and technical specifications. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Linmot Talk Tutorial.